My name is Sean Wilderspoon. I uh, am one of the owners of Round Two. I do a lot of vintage collecting, curating, design, and uh, just random stuff like that. I don't know, I do a lot of things. And I like this whole culture, so it's my life right now. Man, I, I waited my whole life to get a pair of these Paris SB Dunk Lows. It's a shoe I saw when I was a little kid. First got into Nike SB and you would like see these posted for tons of money. Pretty much wrote that off when I was younger that I would never get a pair. Finally got the opportunity to get a pair of my size. Sold like a lot to get them. Some more Air Max Ones from this year. I just, I love these shoes. I love them. And these are the ones that Nike did this year. They got the toe box shape right, the colors, everything is it's pretty fire. These I can't wear enough, honestly. It's got like the neutral gray, it's got white, and then either just the blue or the red. I can pretty much throw these on with anything, whether it's super matchy or not, and it usually looks really good. Boom, bow. The TNs. White base, pretty much throw it on with anything. I love the colors because it looks like flames. I just feel like that's so sick. These are so sick. I grabbed two pairs of these because I'm gonna blow through them pretty quick. Yeah, I mean, this is a classic. You can't really go wrong with these. So this is the Nike Bruin in suede. Another one that I like to skate in. Another like low key three-way collab. It's Undercover and uh, Fragment and Nike. And I just, I think this is one of those ones that kind of just went under people's radars. Like I love skating in these. Nike All Court, one of the best skate shoes ever actually. Board feel, crazy. Like I, these are just really good. It's got the rubber toe cap. That's usually like the first part of the shoe to go. So this was Supreme, Fragment, and Nike all collaborated. I was 12 years old when these came out. And I remember like, you know, seeing them online. This was kind of like, it just immediately spoke to me. I loved it. I thought the denim and like the fraying was was so sick. But uh, it's one of those shoes that I, could, that I could never, ever get my hands on. And then a Duke like, hit me up on Instagram. So random. Oh, that's why he messaged me. Because I had done a post a couple weeks before of these and I was just taking a picture of them and I said, like, can't believe I can never find my size or something like that. I, I did something saying like, I'll never find my size in these, right? And so a couple weeks later, we get in those uh, Amsterdam Air Max ones. The dude messages me. He's like, I'm interested in trading for them if you guys are open to it. He was like, I have a size 10 of the uh of those reese forbes denims he's like i don't know what you value you know the denims at or anything like that but um we ended up working out a deal where it was kind of in my favor in the end and i was so hyped and it's my size this is size 10 like happiest person in the world i can wear them comfortably without having to think about it like I'm so happy. These are going with me to my grave. Got that, got that Novocaine, baby. But I'm just here thinking ahead or thinking of head. We in this club, but I see. Yeah, so that's my sneakers I like to wear right there. That's where I go to in the closet. I've been waiting on you to play with me, girl. I walk.